Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Um, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and in a couple more days, Happy New Year's. Um, I was, I bought these bulbs from uh, Walmart.com for Black Friday, and then I went out of town, so I didn't get to set them up right away. And it also took a while for them to get to me, you know, that holiday rush. Anyway, when I go to set them up, I had two issues. So, they have a little pamphlet inside this box that says, if you have a problem, don't take it back to the store. Call us instead and we'll fix it. Okay, I'll give you, give you that benefit of that there. So, I called them and I got voicemail. I left a message and about a week later, I think they say they get back to you in like a day or two. Don't hold me to that. Um, and also, it is holiday season, so, you know, I'll give them that as well. But take about a week later, I finally get a call back today. The representative who said his name is Jello, and I asked that a couple of times and then had him spell it for me. It is spelled G E L O, and he is in the Philippines where their actually their company is actually based. Um, he told me that my one problem he couldn't understand, so that's what the video is for. But the other problem, which if I had noticed this on the box, I would have spoken to him more about it. Um, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Let me start with the problem number one. Uh, those two light bulbs. Do you see any difference in the brightness? Because I don't. The bulb on the right is supposed to be 1,050 lumens, equivalent to a 75 watt light bulb. It uses 11 watts of electricity. The bulb on the left is a smaller light bulb, it is a 60 watt equivalent and it is only 800 lumens and it uses 9 watts of electricity. I don't see any more brightness in the right one than the left one. Just to give you an idea, this is their bulb, which is the one on the right, and this is the bulb on the left. The bulb on the left is a Walmart bulb. So you can see how much bigger their light is. So when you're looking at this, if you're thinking, well, the light on the right looks a little brighter because it's bigger, well, it's because it's physically larger. There's no brightness difference between the two. Um, the other problem that I had was the color. Um, if you notice, well, you might not be able to tell right now. There are, in case you don't know, there are different shades of white. Uh, with light bulbs. I guess they call it warm and cool and stuff like that. Well, when somebody's selling me a white light bulb, I expect white. And what I got, in my opinion, is yellow. Give me a second here. Back back up. That's what I had in the lamp. That's their light bulb. You can see, you know, one's slightly different than the other. Now, especially with a colored LED bulb, you get that color by taking blue and then removing the saturation. Okay? By the way, first let me show you this. If I had known this, I would have discussed it further with the guy. On their own box, yes, I do see it calls it a warm light bulb. Then it says, adjust color temperature and dim via the app. How am I going to adjust the color temperature? That means that I could take it to being a cool light bulb. I would have expected that if I could have made it blue. You know, this kind of looks like it could be blue that's washed out. Let me turn that one off so we can just look at their light bulb. All right. Now let me pull out my phone. Because uh, I could change the color with Google. Like, uh, hey Google. Turn the light to blue. Sure, changing the living room light to blue. Sorry, it looks like the bedroom light isn't available right now. I actually uh, have two, and the one we're playing with is the living room light, not the bedroom light. Um, anyway, if, let's see, here you go. You've got, this is their app, saturation, brightness, color, by the way. Make it white, all you have is brightness, so it's not like you can change the warmth. This is what they call 1%. Uh, that's 20%. Let me see, let me get to 10%. I don't know. 
There you go. That's what they call 10%. Okay, that's not bad. Now, the one I wish would be a lot dimmer. That would be nice. But, let's go back to 100 here. Let me change it to blue. Okay, there you go. Now, see, you've got this whole... Let's see if I can get this. Sorry to make you dizzy. So, you got red, pinks, and blues. and Put it right there in the middle of blue, and that's what you got. Brightness. That is as bright as it gets. Even though you can't see diddly squat. And that's as dim as it gets. Which, you know, which looks like a Christmas light. Make it bright again. Now, what I would have thought, saturation. Okay. See, hold on. Get this thing to focus. See, if you move this all the way to the left, you think, hey, I got a nice white light. Not too bad. It is whiter than it was, but it's too dim. Can't see shit. You know? So, I mean, there's they've, they've got a lot to deal with. Um, go back to white. You know, this is kind of, the one thing I will say, it is kind of neat. They've got these different scenes. Blinking, rainbow, rave. Let me see what rave does. Let's see. Okay, I guess that's just <laughs> funny. Rainbow. Let's see. Yeah, rainbow. It, it is quickly changing colors. Blinking is kind of like, you know, Christmas light blinking. Uh, soft. I guess that's soft light. Leisure. Tiny difference. Nature is some green. I don't get that. Cocktail, reading, night light. Oh, well, it won't even, oh, there it goes. That's night light. And, again, this is a reading light. If you read with this kind of light, here you go. Let's put this light on the nightstand. Um, yeah, I don't have a book with me, but, you know. Imagine trying to read in that kind of light. I can't even read that without using the iPad. Just so you know. So, anyway, the guy asked me, okay, Google, make the light white. Okay, okay, changing the living room light to white. Sorry, it looks like the bedroom light isn't available right now. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Sorry about that. Yes, I talk to my Google like it's a person. <laughs> you should hear me sometimes. But, anyway, back to the light. See, this is a nice bright, this would be reading light. So, they have a lot of problems. Um, and the guy, t you know, I'd said, you want me to take some pictures and email them to you? He said, make a video. So I said, okay, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to put it on YouTube and I'll send you guys the link. So he gave me the email address to send the link to. Uh, and this is my review again, or my complaint rather. It's a little bit of both. Um, the I really wish I didn't leave that light bulb at that house. Anyway, this is the Mercury Smart Wi-Fi LED Bulbs Color Plus White 2-Pack. says that it's 1,050 lumens. It is no brighter than 800 lumens. And says it's 75 watts, no brighter than 60 watts. So there's definitely a problem. And it says on the box, even though it does say here warm, I almost, you know, I had started to... Let that one go until I read right here where it says adjust color temperature and dim via the app. I want to be able to adjust my color temperature. Uh, customizable color and white light that can be controlled from anywhere. And it is kind of funny. Where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I had seen something that I, it made me laugh. Let me see. That just says color and white. Um... Customizable color and white light. Okay, from anywhere. Okay. Let's see. Mercury lighting. Download app. Okay. And, ah! Is this it? Yeah, white plus millions of colors. Okay, that wasn't what I was thinking. Ah, there it is. Any vibrant color or bright white light. All controlled from your smartphone. Sorry, the colors are not vibrant at all. And, you know, I mean, 
when you can you can't see to walk around the room that you're in with a with a light bulb, there's a problem. So anyway, carry out. Talk to you later. Bye bye.